problem where I buy a bunch of craft supplies at three o'clock in the morning. Because you think of a project and you're like, that'd be cool. So I have decided that I'm going to share this experience with all of you. Today we are going to make some cat paw candles. I'm not sure if anybody else has done this craft before. I just saw the mold and I was like, ooh, I want to do that. So if somebody else is doing this, please credit them. Put some little holes in the mold so that they would hold the wick properly. Fun note, everything looks like it's going really well, but I've cut the holes way too big and that's going to come into play later. Prepare yourselves. I feel like the pipettes were integral to the success of this project. This was very satisfying to watch. Little bean toes. I'm doing two different colorways for these candles. We're gonna have a dark and spooky one and then I'm gonna try and do a rainbow paw. I also got these cute little treasures that I'm going to hide inside of the candles. These are rose quartz mushroom. And now the darkness has fallen. I'm gonna show you guys this so that we can normalize things not being perfect the first time you do them. I messed up. I had some issues. The holes I cut made some leaks. This one looks so bad. Like a massive hole in this one. I have hope for these. The moment of truth. Oh, they're not completely terrible. Okay, what? They're not perfect, but I think they turned out great. I love you. Bye.